Hey everyone, myself Devansh Kesirwani and welcome to my channel Cortex. Today we will solve some of two values problem in CSCS problem set. And the key points mentioned is we will be given with n integers and our task is to find two values. That means we need to find two values and that two values should be present at distinct position means at different position not at same position whose sum is x. So we will be given with n, n, n integers and we need to find two values whose sum is equal to the given x and if that's not possible then we need to print impossible let's see an example so here we will be have four integers that means 2 7 5 1 and we need to create value 12 so let's put this in an array form so these are number 2 7 5 1 and their corresponding position this 2 is at the first position 7 is at the second, 5th is third and so on. We need to uh, make the value, uh, we need to find the, those two values whose sum is will be equal to the target value. How can we do that? So, I will say that I am going to try to fit, try to make the sum of one lighter one light number one smaller number and one heavy number one larger number and we will try to compare with the target value meaning first i will do the sorting operation that is so required because we are going to sum one light and one heavy number and that way we will check okay so if one if we add one light and heavy and sum is equal to the target value then it is okay if it is not then we are going to uh, increase the front pointer or the rear pointer okay that is too much information let's still see one by one i have done the sorting operation so these uh, these are my uh, numbers and these are the position and i have done the sorting operation on the numbers so the position will be intact as it is that means this one is at the fourth position right one two three four so fourth position two is the first the so first position fifth is at the third position and seven is at the second position so the position is remaining intact and that is so because we need to print the position only not the values so i will say that i will have two pointed first pointing at the front and the second pointing at the rear and then we will try to sum one light and one heavy number that means the target value is 12 and i try to uh, sum the one front front plus rear front is pointing at one and the rear is pointing at seven one plus seven is eight and eight is definitely less than 12 so what i should do is i should increase the numbers right so where are the uh, where are the numbers going to increase? Of course, in this direction, right? Because rear is itself pointing at the heaviest number, which is seven. So I'm going to increase the front. So now front is here, and it is not here. Then again, I will try to sum up the front and rear. So two plus seven will be nine, and it is also it is still less than twelve. So again, I will increase the front now 7 plus 5 is equal to 12 and it is equal to 12 so we have found it the position and then we will correspondingly display their position and that will be our answer suppose in a scenario i give instead of the target value i want the target value be let's say Three. This time, let's say the target value is three. So again, this is the scenario. Now, I will try to sum one light and heavy. So one plus seven is eight, and eight is less than our target value. No, it is greater than the target value. So what should I do? I should now eight is eight is heavy targeted. It it is uh, heavy than the target value. So what should I do? I should decrease the rear, right? Because it is pointing to the heaviest number. So I should decrease it and bring down to less heavier numbers. So 
so i will bring this area down now this time 5 so 1 plus 5 is 6 right and this is still so again i will rear points here now 1 plus 2 is 3 so we found it now let's try to make a scenario of 4 so again 1 plus 7 is 8 and it is greater than 4 so I should decrease the rear I am pointing here now 1 plus 5 is 6 is still great so again I should bring down the rear now 1 plus 2 is 3 and it is smaller than the target value then what should I do I should increase the front because I should I should inc include more heavier number so I will increase and oh we have been told we have been told that this should be present at a distinct position but here front and rear is pointing at the same position they are not distinct position so I found my stopping condition also if front is equal equal rear stop you can't go ahead because you need to get distinct number and you have already checked the array so that is what two pointer approach is and it is simple we are using this two pointer to catch hold of the numbers as an example again uh, here three and two so one two three i have a number one two three and front will be here rear will be here then i need to display two right so uh, what should i do i will uh, it has been already sorted and its position are one two three simple so three plus one is four four is greater than two right target value two so i should i should decrease the heavier numbers so i will bring down the rear to here now front plus rear means front plus rear one plus two is three and three is still greater than two so what should i do i should bring down the rear right because uh, three is there uh, three and it is still greater than target value so i will bring down the rear oh so front and rear at the same same position print the impossible all right simple so we will uh, once we will do the coding part also it will be more clear so let's code now this okay so we will have the size first and the target value is zero and then uh, we need to input the size and the target value now we will create a vector for storing uh, for storing the numbers and their position so i should have a pair of in command and that is so because i need to do the sorting according to the values and i should have their position stored that's why i am uh, using the pair in command and let's call that container now uh, we will we will get the input so while same input i can define input as zero and i will container dot push back what should i do i should uh, push the input as well as the its position so so i should define here in position and initialize it with one and I, I should increment it as soon as we are incrementing so what i have done till now 
फोर एंड एट टू सेवन फाइव नाइन सो हेयर वी विल हैव फोर एंड टारगेट वैल्यू एज एट एंड देन आई आई विल हैव द इनपुट हेयर इन दिस एज टू सेवन फाइव वन बट आई विल हैव दिस इन पेयर फॉर्मेट दैट मीन्स टू विल बी हैविंग वन देन सेवन वी विल हैव टू एंड एज बिकॉज आई एम इंक्रीमेंटिंग द पोजिशन सो इन द नेक्स्ट इनपुट वी विल हैव द पोजिशन इंक्रीमेंटेड देन हियर दिस एज थ्री and this has four so like this we have the container and we need to do the sorting we need to do the sorting according to the num numbers according to the numbers which we have just uh, input it that's why we are storing it in a pair format so let's just sort this container dot begin and container dot end so now the sorting operation is done and we have our numbers something like this so first one comes with its position because this sorting operation is doing the sorting operation according to the first value then comes 2 comma 1 then comes 4 comma 3 then comes 7 comma 2 all right so we have the this now i need to define the front and rear pointers so front is going to point at the beginning rear is going to point at the last so size minus 1 because index is started from 0 so 0 1 2 3 4 so minus 1 3 so that's why size minus 1 now and we need to keep on doing this until front is not equal to rear as soon as they are pointing at the same i should break out this from the loop so what i'm going to say i will say in sum as container front dot first what i have written this that means containers front means uh, front is 0 so 0 dot first so this is 0 and 0 dot first means this one and i need to add it with the rear so container rear dot first what i am doing this i am just adding front end rear now i will start the comparison if sum is less than target value if that's the case that means uh, i need to uh, i need to increase if sum is less than the target value that means i need to increase the front pointer because i should now include more heavy numbers because target value is greater so i should increase more heavy numbers and more heavy numbers are present here this from left to right so that's why from left to right so i will say that front should be increased else if if sum is greater than the target value that means and this is target and i have written should be target so okay and this uh, okay so if sum is greater than target value if sum is greater than the target value means i have included the, the heavy numbers so i should bring down the rear so i will say rear minus minus
else if what else if if sum is equal to target value if sum is equal to target value then what should i do that means we have found it the position right so i will display the position so container rear dot second and just displaying it here space container front dot second because second one second contains the position and i should also break because i don't want to now check because uh, check anything more but what if what if the condition is this one two and three and uh, front and rear are rear are pointing and uh, that means i need to display impossible but uh, since this has not executed i have uh, nothing to catch hold of how we gonna print uh, the, the uh, impossible so i will define it here a variable naming flag if flag becomes one here i will if this has executed that means i don't have to print impossible but if flag remains zero then here i can say if flag equal equal zero that means i need to print c out impossible and that is very much i hope it is clear first the input target value and then the pair of uh, integers that is so because to uh, to map the uh, positions of the number as because we are sorting and we will uh, miss out the position so that's why i use this type of data structure then front and rear pointers and flag just to just to catch hold of if this line is executed that means i don't have to print impossible if that if this has not executed that means i have to print and uh, before submitting i should make this correction as run typo error and now submit okay so this has been accepted and i hope it's clear also what we are doing